Hey guys, it's Adrian or BHA here, bringing you a new video. So of course I've had a home printer at my house for a long time. Uh, it's a Wi-Fi enabled, all-in-one printer, scanner, copier, uh, but we don't print that much at the house. But since this pandemic has come along, uh, and the kids have been doing a lot of schoolwork at home, and everything has kind of moved to the house quite a bit, uh, I find that we're using our printer a whole lot more. So I thought today it would be cool uh, to show you how you can monitor the ink levels uh, from your HP printer uh, in Home Assistant. Let's check it out. Now this will probably work for other printers as well. Um, I know there's some various components uh, for Home Assistant for different types of printers, um, but I currently have an HP printer, specifically an HP DeskJet 3520. And just to give you an idea, this printer first came on the market back in 2013, so it's roughly seven years old. So if you have any printers that are more recent than that, uh, made by HP, then this component should probably work well for you. As long as the printer is networkable, either wired or wireless, you should be good to go. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, so of course for starters, we're going to go over some prerequisites that we'll need for this to work properly. Next, we're going to install the HP printer custom integration. Once we have the integration installed, then we're going to install some additional loveless add-ons that we'll be needing in order to get that full uh, custom look that we want to monitor our ink levels for our printer. And lastly, I'll kind of show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. Now, as far as going over prerequisites, the main thing that you really have to have uh, is a networkable printer. So your printer will have to be on your local home network with your home assistant set up so that they can communicate with each other. So as you can see here, here's the web interface uh, for my HP DeskJet 3520. Uh, it has an IP on my local network, so it should make it easy for this to properly work. Once you have your printer set up on your home network, you're ready to move on to that next step. So of course, there are several different ways that you can install this HP printer integration, but we're going to kind of take the easy route. Since we have Hacks or Home Assistant Community Store uh, set up on, uh, on our system, we're going to utilize it to install this custom integration. So basically we're going to go into uh, Hacks here. We'll scroll down uh, to the bottom because I already have it installed. If you didn't, you could hit that plus down in the bottom corner and do a search for uh, printers. But as you can see here, it's called the HP Printers Integration. Uh, you're going to want to install that here in the hack store and then from there once you have it installed we're going to jump over to uh, configuration and go into integrations and basically we're going to do the same thing we're going to do a search for uh, the uh, newly set up printer integration again I already have it installed as you can see here so we'll go ahead and click on that and there is my HP DeskJet 3520. We'll go ahead and click on it here, and as you can see, it already shows the ink levels and everything. So, uh, you know, uh, everything is pretty new. I just put this ink cartridge in, uh, so we are good to go on that side. Uh, at this point, uh, we're monitoring the printer and Home Assistant, and now we're ready to move on to the next step and build out that loveless card uh, that's going to display the ink uh, levels nicely. All right, now there's probably multiple ways to set this up. This is just the way that I went through and set it up myself. We're gonna use a couple of loveless add-ons here uh, to make this look nice. Uh, the first one we're gonna be using is the bar card. And as you can see here, we'll use it for each uh, of the different colors for the different ink levels. Um, just to kind of give you an idea what that's gonna look like. The second one that we're gonna use is the text divider row. I like to use this on a lot of my uh, loveless setup. Uh, makes for a nice little title divider and stuff when you're putting a whole bunch of stuff on a levels page. So it actually looks pretty good as well. 
again we can do all this from hacks so we're going to click on hacks here and look at the front end section and I already have mine installed uh, because I set this up already but uh, if you did need to hit that plus down in the corner uh, do a search for bar card is one of them and then the other one of course is the uh, text divider row find both of those get them installed and then uh, once you have them installed there is another step that you will need to do in order for this to work properly so you'll need to jump over to configuration again and go to the section called uh, loveless dashboards once we click on that then we're going to go to resources and this is where you're going to add the two paths to where those newly installed uh, components uh, were added. Once you have those listed there, then of course the last step that we're going to do for this part is to just restart Home Assistant for it to pick up uh, the new add-ons and everything. Once you have all that in there, then let's jump over to the last step. Uh, we'll add it in there and I'll show you what it looks like in action. All right, so as you can see, this is what it's going to look like in the end. Uh, I like the way it turned out pretty well. It shows the ink level for each of those cartridges, the black one, the cyan, magenta, and yellow. Uh, it shows what percentage it's at. It's even got the right colors for each of the different ones. I thought it turned out pretty well. Now, if we go up here and do a configure UI, and then we'll edit this card here. You can see all the different code that we use to make this uh, and I'll have all this in the description below so that you can just copy and paste it. So there's actually uh, four different uh, columns on that bar card and so each one of those columns is a, a different color of ink Then, of course the bottom uh, line down there is just the uh, status of the printer itself whether it's in the process of printing something or it's idle. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you haven't already set this up, then here you go. You'll be able to start monitoring your ink levels in Home Assistant. And, of course, you got a nice little loveless card to view all that, so I thought it turned out pretty well. If you guys have any other ideas or uh, if you have any questions about it, shoot me over uh, uh, your thoughts on this and let me know what you think. Let's do a quick run-through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, for starters, uh, we... Uh, went over uh, the prerequisites, which is basically getting your printer online. Uh, once we did that, then we installed the HP printer custom integration. Once that was done, then we installed some additional loveless add-ons that we needed to make this uh, nice loveless card built out for the ink cartridges. And lastly, I showed you what that looks like in action. But again, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me a Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Um, if you haven't had a chance, jump over to my Teespring uh, merchandise page to check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.